So I'm going to show you the hair tools and how to uh, how to create hair out of uh, modeled hair like this. How to create uh, real curved hair. So basically, as you can see, these are all poly models. There's a, a number of geometry stacked on top of each other and modeled into a hairstyle. And how these uh, hair uh, how this hair geometry should be set up is uh, sort of like a NURBS curve or a NURBS surface where uh, each of the ends are open and each of these edge loops going down have to have the exact same number of vertices so they shouldn't be split at any point so with all of that selected or with all that set up let's uh, go in and select the this first let's select this first edge loop and deselect the uh, all these other corresponding uh, all these extra verts so now we have like we have now we have the first edge loop selected let's go into the script editor and here i have the code uh, to load the ui so you want to type in in Python import hair tools and then hair tools dot hairball UI so I'm just gonna select all of this and hit control return and it'll open up the hairball UI and what we have here is a, a few settings so density is not isn't working exactly how you'd expect it to in that uh, it goes by it goes by distance between the hair curves so the lower the lower the density the more curves you're gonna get so the higher the density you're gonna get less curves because it's gonna put a curve uh, at one unit per uh, one unit uh, away from each other so let's bring it down to uh, point one and layers is how many layers you want going inside the the surface so let's uh, leave that at five and with the first uh, with the CVs of the first edge loop selected we'll run cough it up and now we'll uh, unhide that and let's open up our outliner and just uh, select these hair curves that it created and shift or let's just only show those so now this is really really dense but as you can see it creates uh, the hair curves let's uh, get rid of that and let's start again and uh, let's do it with less curves this time so we could see better what uh, what it's doing so again let's select the first edge loop and let's put the density to around 0.4 and the layers to 3 once more, cough it up, and now we can see better what's happening. So now we can see that it's created our uh, all of our curves, and it's uh, it's really smooth and uh, very linear. So we want to kind of offset that and uh, break it up a bit so it looks a little bit more natural, and that's where our groom comes in. So. Groom will uh, give you randomization values for start, middle, and end curves. So the default values, uh, I don't know if the default values are basically linear transition where it gets a more, uh, where it gets more random toward the end and it stays not very random toward the beginning. So let's just bring this up a lot just to, uh, so we could see what it's doing. 
and we want to select the curves that we want to randomize and click muss it up and now it's going to give you some more randomization and now it looks a bit more natural and you might want to you might not like how the edges are all even as well or all the curves are even you might like it you might not like it but there's another tool here called trim and uh, basically you could give it a minimum length and uh, the number of curves to trim from the selected so if you give it a negative length a minimum length of like say 0.1 we'll do that so you can see how what it's doing again uh, we'll give it to 0.3 we don't want it to be too short and percent to trim let's say 0.7 so that's 70 percent so 70 percent of the hair that is selected is going to be trimmed so let's click a little off the top and now if you select it and go and go through these you could see that they're all kind of now random length they're not all exactly the same length as uh, before so you might not want to do this as a uh, you might not want to trim as much as I did and you might want to be more selective with your trimming so you could uh, just select which ones you want and trim that way so I just wanted to show you what it's doing for this for this scenario. So you see before the trim, they're all exactly the same. And uh, that's uh, the hairball.